So we've got next game, we've got humans. Um, what number game is this? This is game number 12, game number 13 uh, for our run. Um, and this is our team. Humans is not a bad matchup with only the two guard for us. Um, let's have a look and see who we spun into. 8 3 1, so they've got a very good record. Um, and that's pretty good as a team. 1, 2, 3. Yeah, that's a problem. That's a problem, team. Um, we're going to have a bribe. So we're going to take a bribe here. Um, uh, because we're going to run with a dirty player. Uh, and hopefully we can get rid of a blitzer or two. If we can get rid of the blitzers, this is easy. If we can't, this won't be. Uh, giraffe telling Andy how to fix things reminds me of how to teach my dad how to work his iPad. Yes. He is not as good as his record. Hello, Vela. I hope you're how you doing. So I'm okay being on defense here. Hopefully the bribe doesn't get smashed in the first turn for nothing. Which is bizarre because Andy builds his own computers. I've built every computer I've ever owned apart from the one I'm using right now. That one I did not build. And to be honest, I don't think I'd go back to building them. The, sa the, the saving is not as, it's not worth it anymore. It used to be, but it's not anymore. Um, do I want to do anything bizarre? Am I trying to push down the side? I don't think I am. I think, right? I don't think I, I need to do the same setup as I did last. I'm just going to do the same setup I had last time. Except I'm going to offset it. I'm going to do something really, really weird. I'm going to offset this setup. So that's the shape. Now let's get the optimization in. There we go. I think that's looking all right now. Let's not put Demi on the line. That's just asking for trouble. Let's go with that. Two warriors, two warriors. Awesome. Let's do it. Um, predictions up. Thank you very much, uh, Froz. I can't build a PC. For rubbish. Um, I'm building P I, building PCs when I was doing it was loads and loads and loads of fun. Um, and I think if I had lots of time, I'd I'd love to do another one. I'd love to, I'd love to build a water cooled PC. I really would. This is a half-time prediction. To get your half-time prediction in now. It's like under adult Lego. Uh, yeah. Get your half-time prediction now. So he is stacked with quite a bit of mighty blow here, right? One, two, three. Four mighty blows. This could hurt against Amor 8. The key players here are the Blitzers and that guard. So anything with Blitzer, anything with guard... Uh, the players we want to target. And then we want to try and control the centre and push him down a sap flank. That is our strategy for this turn, for this half. Smithing, think about like putting water in your car. Same concept. How are we not more famous? Are we more famous? We are more famous. The second bloody rock that this team have taken where we can't knock out our opponent. Is it actually water? Well, I've seen a beer called PC. That was quite fun. 
Because it's just any form of liquid, right? You can creep, uh, you can clean it, you can sort it with any form of liquid. Someone did a beer called PC. Not permanently, but I did it for a little while. So first couple of turns are going to be difficult to try and get at the blitzes. Oh, God. <sighs> Never mind. Don't be fooled by those rocks that you got. <laughs> Hello, Jenny. How you doing? Thank you very much for the cheer. Statistically unlucky, I think. Perfect time, I've just had a prediction now. I'm off to get myself a scone. <laughs> oh dear, that's annoying with two players down and a stun. Because it's going to make our ability to foul a lot harder. I think we are statistically miles behind, unfortunately. Out blitzed by humans. Out punched by humans. I think we need to get rid of that 12th player. And we need to go and look at the TV from an optimization point of view. Um... I think we're just going to punch that guard there. Because I could foul this guy, but there's no point. Like, it doesn't achieve me anything. It's not It's not, It's not. not my hit list of players I want to get rid of. So we're going to go for blitzing a player that I don't like rather than the player I do like. Don't much care about that. I'm gonna defend this guy over here, just because I don't really want like the one point of contention to become um, a mega problem for us. Dodge back here. No, we won't dodge back here. Okay. I predict he's probably going to swing this way now, sadly. That's a problem. Looking at the TV when you're playing a meme team. Come on now. Um, you've got to play um you've got to play with TV efficiency in mind, no matter what, I think, Hancock. I think you do. Um and the meme teams are almost probably even more important to play um with TV efficiency in mind. So I'm trying to wring every last possible drop of efficiency out of them. This is a problem. I guess having a bench isn't inefficient. Um, it is at low TV. The, the actual trade-off is all about the potential, the damage potential of your opponents. Because if the damage potential of your opponents is very low, then this probability of you needing the player is very low. Therefore, it's 60, 80, 100k of TV sat on the bench doing nothing. <clears throat> However, if your damage potential of your opponents is really high, you need the bench, therefore, you should buy one. Um, but get rid of anything, I'd pop that strength 5 warrior. No, the warrior is the important bit of this team. He doesn't have guard. That's an interesting choice. It protects you from high variants. Well, yeah, yeah, yes, it does. Because this game is already like a problem because of this. This is annoying from the line of scrimmage. It's not the end of the world, but it is annoying.
I don't care about these two. Bonehead here would be very nice. That's not to the bench. What, the two removals? No, that's because I'm playing... Well, it is and it isn't, right? Because um, the 60 TV is additional TV that I'm now going to play up because um, I've got a bench. So I might not have got this guy in the first place if um, I uh, had got rid of the bench, right? I'd be spinning off 1,400-ish TV. And that's an entirely different proposition. I mean, in Champ Ladder, where the matchmaking is quite a lot lower, the probability of spinning off 1,400 TV, 1,460, is unlikely to have made a big thing. But it might have done. Then we're up 2 0, that's a shame. Not, not really wanting Denmark to win. I mean, I don't care. Like, okay, it, England have got to win three games of football to win the win the thing. Um, it's not like we get to choose. Um, Yoga's got six goal. I'd be failing plus three at best. It's not great. Not a hot look, is it? If you were not on the floor, you could have done chain pushing into the ball for funsies. Um, I haven't got two blitzes. I wonder if we are going to go for... I wonder if we're going to go for the ogre anyway. <coughs> One, two, three... Problem is, I can't stand here, right? Can't get around the top of the ogre. You need to go in there, you need to go in there. Right. Not efficient. Not efficient. Let's the ogre. It's got guard, so we're going to pick on the ogre because it's got guard. Drop a foul on it. Please don't get sent off. Or pop the bribe. Not standing you up, because I think we're going to get into trouble. And we're going to get out of position now. The humans are going to go and do whatever the humans want to do. This is a bit of a problem. Um, where can I waste my channel points on? And when can I, when can I waste my channel points on dead? Hmm, I don't know. Uh, tomorrow at four, yeah, yeah, tomorrow at four. So I thought what he would do here is I thought he would flop around the side. Um, so he's going to go after Dimmy and he's going to try and connect with the catchers. And we're going to end up playing this game out as a 2-1. Which, considering we're two players down, if we can get him to score early, that's fine. Um, I've got co-commentators coming in for it. I haven't actually done any form of thinking about it or effort. Um, the All Blood Bowl related activity hasn't been in my at my top of my priority list uh, for the last few days or so um i've had a um a family problem to go and deal with which i've been pondering whether to talk about on stream or not um and i've not come to a conclusion so i'm not gonna actually tell you what it is but there's there's a handful of people who do know but um i'll make another one down um yeah it, blood bowl has not been um not been important at all over the last couple of days. Um, yeah, it'll be fine.
Um, so I'm not going to do the um, I'm I'm not going to do the bidding today. Um, I'll probably build the team because uh, and I'll do it tomorrow. We need to fix the actual um, auction. It's it's a me problem, right? I I'm aware it's I I've screwed something up. I need to go and fix it. And um, when I then fix it, um, we'll be fine. The other house fell down. No, the other house is fine. Thank God he scored, because he was if he didn't score, there was no way we were making him score. So um that's that's from me. That from my point of view is brilliant. Um, please wake up. So I'm down to ten before I've actually started the game. Unfortunately Dimmy didn't wake up. Do I think he should have stalled? So I think, um, if you think this through, right? What's what am I? What turn am I going to go and score on now? Turn eight, and then I think I'm going to go and score on turn sixteen, and I'm going to win the game two one. I'd have to turn him over. I just have to make convert both of my offenses. Generally speaking, it's easier to convert an offense if you're given longer time. Um, so being given six turns to go and convert an offense shouldn't be unreasonable. So. Um, yeah, I think it was a mistake. Of course, if... Um, he did, yeah, because he didn't, he didn't need to score. Like, it's not super terrible, but I, I, I don't... It's not what I would have done. Let's go there. Okay. I do have a dirty player. I do need to respect the foul. Uh, the foul. The um. The blitz. So actually, let's do that into that. a different way right so imagine whoops imagine that 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 you're there 44 seconds you go there and i follow up that gives me a box i think we're going to try this let's do that then five might some skill display um, so the, the the flip side, though, uh, Dexter, is that if you think you can turn your oh fuck off, um, that's really annoying. The if you think you can turn over your opponent, um, then you should score. So the, the reason that's annoying was because this guy gets surfed with almost no like I just run around the back, punch him into the square, he just push that guy in. And he's gone. Uh, that is super annoying. So the, the trade-off here is he should have lost a player. Now he's not going to lose a player. Just for no reason. That's super annoying. Super annoying. Oh, well. Hello, Razzle. I think our opponent just had um, the swing of, I don't know, God mode. About to play Dio. Oh, nice. Good luck. 
What are the two teams you're using, Razzle? Um, you saw a thunderstorm on the on the thunder mat. Ooh. Oh, you qualified with that insane like Amazon record like, after about a week, didn't you? Yeah, congratulations. Yeah, I think I think we might have lost the game. Like th this blitz literally is probably going to lose us the game. Dumb, isn't it? Right? Like it's just annoying. That's a shocking scatter as well. Well, there isn't anything around the ball anymore. Um. One, two, three, four, five, six, one. That's the bl that's got to be blitz. Annoyingly, we need to get at least one of the guards down uh, south. But even if all this works, right, four more players are going to come and attack me next turn. This is insane. Okay. It's not dauntless as well, so I can't. I can't even. Um, I think you're just gonna have to stay there because I. I, I just cannot afford nonsense. I. I just can't. You've got to dodge. Could anything work for me today? Jesus, come on. Eight. Two bribes, two fouls, two nothings. Jesus Christ. Yeah, all right, yeah, all right. That's not what I meant. What I meant was, could it kill someone? That's two bribes and zero removals. And both got spotted immediately. That's what I meant. So I think what I would do here is I would probably bring down some players, blitz on two dice, throw a reroll at that, and four plus with a reroll, three plus with a reroll to score and win the game. Right, that's the play here. Uh, so I wouldn't be concentrating on stuff that doesn't matter. I'd be concentrating on stuff that does matter and win the game. Game will turn in your favour, probably. Maybe. Don't get what that was for. I can't I, I literally can't foul again because of the I'm already because because of this compound interest nonsense right I can't foul again man the greed Hmm. 
I've got problems all over the field. Like, that's a crap trade. That we can sort of half solve. That's a crap trade. That's a crap trade. And then, that's not a great trade. I've got one spare player to try and help me win loads of little problems. Yeah, this is what I'd have done. I wish I wouldn't have done all the bullshit first. Yeah, game, game over. That blitz, that blitz was absolutely outrageous. He should have like, he should have had a catcher killed. And what we actually got is that. <sighs> Shows blood bolt. Anyone can win a game. That's a real shame. Any opponent criticizing opponent being really. Um, when the game's not sorted, I suppose. Never mind. Now, if we can kill some players... No, we have to kill the right players. If we can kill the correct players, we might get some value out of this. Um, but I think this game's going to be too... Like, we're aiming at a 2-2 two -two draw now. We really are aiming at a 2-2 two -two draw. Hmm. He's got 14 players, so I'm not likely to take him out. I need to take out the good... When's the chalice game tomorrow afternoon? Uh, first, first game of the stream tomorrow. <laughs> Run blitz at exe profit. <laughs> that fucking catcher is going off the field, right? It is going off the field. Oh, the week hasn't rolled yet, Chris, so I don't know. Have you forgotten to pay your subscription? Uh, it looks like it, yeah. <sighs> this is tedious, isn't it? Wait, you got a blitz again? Yeah. You got another blitz, yeah. If I get 2-2 out of this now, it's an amazing result. Was it in Sung's name? I think so, yeah. Although he's playing Mountain Blade now, isn't he? Is he still playing Mountain Blade? I can't see because I've got 28 different icons on that screen. Um, uh, so I can't see what the hell is going on anymore. Is he still playing Mountain Blade or is he playing something out? Uh, is he done? He's still playing. All oh, right. At this race, looking like 4-0. Yeah, at this rate, 4-0 is looking like a great result, isn't it? Oh well. oh, well, you can't win every game of Blood Bowl. Some days, you can't win any games of Blood Bowl. Maybe we can set ourselves a new goal, right? If we level up some Warriors this game... That's actually a good thing. That would actually be a success, right? So let's try and level up Warriors. If we can't win the game, let's set a new goal of something we can do, which is level up a Warrior or something. <coughs> uh, Max says, have I subbed to Zunk? Uh, so my Prime sub is on cooldown at the moment, uh, but I will sub to him when I can. Uh, Rochelle, Chris Frost and Diderot, remember all games have been done before we rolled over. Match in week no in advance. Oh, okay. Football to, does teach him the best humility. Uh, it, it, yeah, you, you kind of need to. Razzle, good luck. Good luck. Um, readjust with the... Yeah, absolutely. Well, Tom, absolutely right. I didn't, you didn't really read that. 
until just just now. And yeah, absolutely, readjust what this, the the goal now is of the game. And the goal of the game now is is to try and achieve something out of this carnage, right? Yeah, and a couple, like, a couple of lucky casualties here and there. And suddenly we might actually be in this. I mean, we, were, we are so far out of this, it's insane. But yeah, if we, can, if we can find a casualty or something, like... Can. But if we if we could find a in casualty, um, that'd be a thing, right? So that's one dice there. Come on, just kill it. Just just literally pull its little arms off and kill it. Uh, um so santa one of my one of one of my one of my weaknesses is um getting super t like getting tilted right it's it i mean it's everyone's weakness but one of those things is that so you got to try and find a way of fixing it um and i think readjusting my expectation level for a game on the fly during the game is important um do i think this is ruined yeah do i think it's my fault no not really i think this is just He's just had phenomenal good fortune at just the wrong time. And this is where we're at. Does it make him a bad person? No. Um, I'm just, just being a little bit unlucky. But equally, I got games where I get it goes the other way, where I get really lucky. Um, like the, the server eating the game against Eliard recently. That sucks for him. Didn't suck for me. So you can't have one without the other. Uh, considering dropping a guy after the game. Pros, getting rid of 60 TV. Cons, having no bench. I feel like playing goblins will help me get tilted. N no. <laughs> no. Playing goblins is... is, is um, no. No. And a stun, right? Like a non-stun slash non-removal here. What? Look at that. Hello, Saramol. We were just talking about um, uh, the effects or not of yeah of tilting and how you, what, what can you do about it, etc., etc. Because this game's being a bit of a tit, <laughs> as you can see from the scoreline, right? It's doing that. <coughs> Don't be not a nice to Andy scoreline type shit. I'd love to know the biological basis of tilt. Hmm. Don't know. Um. So we've got Two dice there, into there. Push would have been really nice there. Never mind. Um, because if we'd have got a push there, I could have then pushed here. 
and we could have pushed this out of the way and then I could have walked through. Um, but we didn't, so I can't. So let's try again. There's no point following that up and just getting ourselves battered. Um, we missed again. Um... These block dice, like even the block dice are being tiresome. Um, fucking hell, what? Okay, right, yeah, all right, whatever. My, my Buzzkill mind is underscore blown. 79. The big one O oh, grin. My mind is blown. This is being this is being silly. Um I don't really want that dauntless thing running around and or providing free assists. Um and I will stand you up. And I know you're gonna put players in there and there, right? That, that's what you're just gonna do. Buzzkill, thank you very much. The big one and oh, beautiful. Buzzkill, thank you very much. Um, <clears throat> I never expect, I never tilt unless I expect to win on some level. Um, gonna like, that might well be a thing, right? Um, tilt seems similar to road rage. Yeah, I, I suspect it probably is a little bit. You know this guy in RL? He's very nice. Oh, awesome. It has massively gone his way. Um, and there's been a like if you watch the game back with him you'll find a bunch of things that um, had they not had other things not happened he would have got come unstuck for but he's got a nice team like all this guard and stuff is a pain in the ass to play around It's very hard to be 3-0 down on turn 6. It is very hard to be 3-0 down on turn 6. Like, you've got to work really hard to be this bad. Is he like fucking... Uh, <laughs> yeah, I mean, it just hasn't gone my way at all. Never mind. So now, now we've got the new goal of can we do something else with this game? Um, like, level up a player or two. Because, um, like, the result's toast, isn't it? Especially, I mean, if he scores again, it's absolutely toast. 2-2 uh, two -two is a slim line possibility. Um, which, and it, you know, look at this. This is, a, this is a ridiculous. This is absolutely ridiculous. <laughs> oh, it's absolutely ridiculous. All right, new plan. Let's play. Let's do something else with this game because this is this is ruined. I'm not. I'm not making four plus two dice, am I? Vi viably, I'm not. I think we'll we'll try, but I don't think I am. One, two, three, four, five, six. So you're going in there. Um, they're not even stood up, so I can't use anything to get through. We'll, we'll try. There's no point sacrificing it. Okay, right, so it's done. Cool, it is actually done. Come on, let's get a star player point out of you. Come on. 
No, never mind. Never mind. Uh, Lyrian, I am missed a couple of goats. Do you have any skills? Um, so let's just check the goats. Uh, so that was you. No. I think you are still on the team. Yeah, you're the dirty goat. Yes, you're the dirty goat. Um, you stole the MVP in the last match, so you might level and we might need to do something about that. Because um, the last game was a, like, yeah, real men cry. No, nah, it's fine. Like, this game's done, isn't it? So from a, from a result perspective, this game's done. So do something else with the game. Ozzy underscore FUD. You've lost the game, but won a second month from the smiley face. <laughs> Ozzy, I'll take that every day. Thank you very much. Yeah, dirty goat. Oh, yeah. Thank you very much, Ozzy. Thank you very, very much. Um, it's it's been very interesting trying to watch like the viewer numbers and stuff since um, since the the Zunk and I uh, separated off, went to go and do other things because um, it's it's very. It's, no, I don't know what the right word is. I don't know what the right word is. Um, want to make sure I'm still making content that people want, right? That's that's what I think. I don't know what the word is for that, but that's what I want to do. So I'm I'm mostly bothered about the um, the audience numbers. Lonely? I don't think lonely. No. I I, I I'm no. Anyway. I think it, it is time for Antico to Winchester, have a nice cold pint, and wait for this to blow over. <laughs> Uh, Mr. Rock Crocker, I, I like when we get to maybe October, November, December, somewhere in that where pretty much everyone's had their second, their, their, their second jabs, um, and everything's fine. I, I would very much like to spend a bit of time, um, you know, catching up with everyone in real, in the real world. So, is there any way of maximizing hits? Um, fill those two squares in, maybe. Um, can I fill those squares in? No. Have we got any guard? No. I could get... I could hit both of those. Uh, I need to fill that one in. No, no. I need to fill in both of those. Right. We're going to use... So Ziggy needs casualties. So... Let's punch something without block, just in case we get really badly look, uh, looked out. We don't. Well, I can't see him wanting to throw blocks for no reason. Um... Damn it. Nope. And is there any point killing that off? Probably. Let's try. So, completely giving up on the score, like the stop of the score because the game's done. And trying to hurt trying to hurt players. We haven't managed anyone yet, but let's try. Uh, do you and Zunk still do things together? We haven't um, since the since the separation. No. Well, that's mostly because it's only been a week or two. How have you gotten snarking Ed? What's M Modius? What's that? Sorry. How, how have you gotten snarking in our... What? I'm confused. I don't know what that is. I'd love to know what the block stats are. They will be absolutely horrendous. My dice, I, I am... 
I am confused. I, I don't understand. <laughs> it doesn't take much to confuse me, to be fair. That was naughty. You shouldn't have done that. Oh well, you get games like this. Right, let's try for the third time to surf this catcher. Let's try. Come on now. Come on now. Blitz. Not a blitz. Okay. One. Uh, what's a good st starting Kislev uh, build? A little depends a little bit on um, on what you're trying to achieve. Um, I would say. Hey, okay, we've not managed to. Uh, Kill anyone so far. <laughs> okay, we've managed to now nail someone. Well done. Wish the points were fallen on the warriors. Right, now fetch ball. And I think, I actually think this might be a game that we throw the ball and stuff, right? Because, like, yeah. Oh, it's half time. <sighs> Not paying attention, though. Uh, I've gone three catcher and bear. So I, I've done two catcher, one blitzer, one bear. And I think that's probably... I didn't realise it was half time. I, I'm not really paying attention to that, that this, right? I didn't realise. Otherwise, I'd have thrown it. Never mind. Because that casualty meant zero. Because he's got two other line people, so it's literally a line person. Other than the the two points on Rabutio, it didn't mean anything. Hmm. Is it possible to pop? Pop. Um. So with a quick snap, we can still get one of these. Um, with a quick snap, we can get one of these. Go there and there. I don't think I'm going to change anything here. I'm going to play for the quick snap. I'm waiting for the pretend gravelly voice to be there all the time. Haha. <laughs> Both teams lose the turn. Okay. Uh, do you know what, right? If it's if we're actually genuinely, genuinely playing for other goals, I'm gonna throw the ball with this guy. Cause that's what we're saying we're doing. If we're saying we're doing it, let's actually do it and throw the ball with the other guy.
second casualty for that go. Because that would actually help him level. Let's hear one, two, three, four, five. Run you round the top. Right, let's go and pick up the ball. Whoop. Come on, Chamber. Come on, Chamber. Come on, Chamber. <sighs> Not even the shit that I'm trying is working now. Because getting him to Mighty Blow would be actually useful. Getting this guy to block, not no block, getting this guy to block would actually be useful. Right, so the three warriors, let, if we can get two of them leveled, well done. <clears throat> Score on you. Um... Maybe two casualties from you, Ozzy, if, uh, sorry, Ziggy, if you wouldn't mind. Do you think you could knock something over? Would that be all right? Dave O tub time. Maybe. Oh dear. Lost another one. Bit lethargic. I, I'm feeling that today, right? It's just, it's just not working for me. Two games where both of them have just, they've not been. Today's not been blood bowl like at its very finest, does it? I don't know what it is, but we've been a little unfortunate with the way things have played out. Sorry, Laris Ian. <laughs> um. Cheeky Jimmy, you know you get games, just just like one in a hundred games where just everything that can go wrong, goes wrong. This is that game. Haha. <laughs> yeah, this is just that game. The Lich, thank you very much for the raid. How the devil are you? Would you mind being a lamb and popping a link to your channel in there? Oh, there can you. I'll take that. I don't like this popped out chat because everything behind it just disappears. Really annoying. Okay, right. Well, let's try and let's try and hand the ball off to a Chaos Warrior. Throw the ball with a Chaos Warrior to a Chaos Warrior. Please just work. Please just stop making my game rubbish. Um. And then we can blitz with a Chaos Warrior. Fuck's sake. Oh well, look, it's just stupid, this game. <clears throat> I hope he hurries up and scores, and then I can have another go. Because we could have got star player point to star player point and scored in two turns. And we could have got you to um, 28. Um, and we could have blitzed through you. Like, we could have got star player points on all of these. Never mind. Never mind. 
was quite the shit throw. It was very bad, wasn't it? Jamba's had many chances of leveling and um, has managed to fuck them all up pretty much. Never mind. Never mind. So bobbling here is not a good idea because it's not going to go anywhere better. Like you can't do anything with that bobble, right? You don't get to. It's not like in Blood Bowl One where if you bobbled onto the ball, you had a chance of picking it up. And now it's a go for it to pick the ball up. Don't foul my player. If you'd like, Andy can offer you some coaching. Who said that? Why, someone asking for coaching? I do do coaching. Um, quite if anyone would ever want coaching from someone who's losing 4-0. Um, I haven't lost him 4-0 in Champ Ladder for a very long time. <laughs> Andy is a good coach. I promise I'm a good coach. I promise I am. Broadsword, why is Kira not streaming right now? Imagine, imagine me going over to Kira's stream now and she goes, so Andy, how'd you get on? And I'd be like, yeah, I lost 4-0. She wouldn't believe me. She, would, she wouldn't believe it, would she? She'd be like, yeah, right, okay, seriously, what was the score? No, no, really, I lost 4-0. <laughs> oh, did she, she think I was pulling it like I was just taking the piss or something well by far oh, there's plenty of time to lose 6-0 yet if I try really hard maybe we could lose 6-0 Only losing 4 0, 4 0 to humans. They've battered the crap out of me, though. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't think I've ever lost 6 0. Like, ever. I can only recall conceding 5 once in 10 years. So there's that. These dice are shit as well. I mean, at least the dice are shit as well as everything else. Pop you out one more. Um. Okay, right. Important things. So you need to throw the ball. So you need to come back a little bit. Pick up the ball. Please pick up the ball. <sighs> Please pick up the ball. Please throw the ball. I mean, alright, I'm not playing properly, am I? So, like, this is if anyone's ever going to beat me by a big scoreline, there's this. Because I'm actively trying to do stuff that's constructive for next game rather than playing to try and mitigate a, a three or a four or a five, right? So I don't give a shit what the score is. I just want to level this sodding Chaos Warrior. Uh, let's hope for a magical server hour. Um, I don't know. I think that'd be unfair to my opponent, right? I hope, I hope, he does. I hope we don't get a server error. Because that'd suck for him. And as much as I'm having not a lot of fun, I imagine he's having quite a lot of fun right now. I, I meant online. And that was, fi that was five, I think, Hellboy. But five, two or something. Five, one, something. It wasn't five. I don't think it was five, zero. What, it was five, zero? 5-2. Mm. Ugnash, when he was playing 
uh, natural one turn of Skaven, uh, we'd got a, something that was a score like something like six five or some stupid scoreline. Um, because all he did with his Skaven was set up the ball, scored a one turn. So I went, all right then, score. He went, okay, score. And we just did this. But it took me two turns to score each time because I was playing Dark Elves. Because um, he didn't try and stop you. He just went, all right, then, go and score. So the games were annoying because they were always draws. So I don't know what the, I can't remember what that score. Like we did, we did one where I tried, well, you can't possibly succeed every single one turn you ever try. And he went, Oh, I can. And he did. That team was... A, that was that was the most annoying team I've ever played. Of any team I've ever played. I hated playing that team. I think that's why I hate Skaven. Um, or hated Skaven. So, yeah, you can stand up. Where's the blitz? Um, I don't think I really care about what, what's going on down there. Um, if we stand you here, and we blitz with Rabuti? No, no, the guard guy's the blitz, isn't it? Yeah, the guard guy's the way. Guard guy's actually the way. With Rabutio, he's the way. Because that then lets me push here. You need points. mind. Right, go and pick up the ball. Please don't drop it. Please throw the ball. <laughs> I, oh, I hated him. Um, so playing against Ugnash's Skaven was the most annoying um, game ever. Because what he did was he just went to play for a draw. Um, he played a league season of 11 games and got nine draws in a get in a season. It was so annoying to play, um, and he just had no intention of trying to win. He, he didn't. He didn't play to win ever. So he did weird things, and it was just annoying. Really nice guy in real life, but the most annoying team to play against. Uh, Saramel probably remembers why. I, I have no idea. He just liked to play Skaven with one turners. That's just what he did. Skaven versus Orcs. Um, I mean, if you're miles ahead, you can go play, like, just score. Like, my, my Wood Elves were, were uh, taking that philosophy over the last couple of seasons, which is, from a team value perspective, they're miles ahead of your opponent. Um, so, of course, I'll just go score. Just score, just score, just score, like, over and over and over and over again. Um, uh, that's just one team. I know, but I didn't... Um, we're talking about... A, a team that I played during my oh, what's the um after adolescence you get like that next period of time in your life where um th that sort of forms your beliefs and stuff um formative that's the word yes in my formative years someone who plays skaven used to torture me with skaven basically and i hated it so just just associated with Skaven with annoyance and irritation, right? That, that's... It wasn't you. No, it wasn't you, Crystal, no. I 
I will level this fucking warrior. I really will level this warrior. Pissing me off. Um, we haven't even got the, the firepower to throw the blocks now. Um... Spoiler, no, he won't. No, he probably won't, to be fair. It's, like, mathematically unlikely now. And, yeah, Ognash did build his entire team around scoring one turn. It's just because that's what you did, right? That's just what you did. My dude getting punched in the face. Uh, hopefully, we're going to play fucking more. You're going to pick the ball up and you're going to throw it. That guy there. Come on. Come on, Shamba. Come on now. Come on, Shamba. 3 plus, 3 plus, 3 plus. Come on. Yes! Something constructive out of this game! Something constructive! Oh, Jesus. We've, let, we've earned one star player point. It's been constructive. Finally. <laughs> oh, dear. I have got my star player point. How on earth did this get to be 5 0? Um, uh, just, just very unlikely. 86. 5 to 0, what <laughs> on earth happened here? <laughs> um, my opponent has been rather fortunate, and then at 3 0, I basically gave up. Um, and then try and started doing other things to try and keep myself entertained rather than getting irritated. Um, and all those things kept failing. So he just went, oh, I'll have the ball and score. Um, so. Yeah, that's basically what happened. Domleb, thank you very much for uh, continuing to support the channel. Uh, Santa just got the Gribo Dwarf team. Oh, nice. Yeah, Gribo Dwarves are awesome. Andy Low Morale. Andy's a little bit irritated. Like, it, it is fun to do other things, but it, it doesn't detract from... Last game we had, went backwards in star player points because our killer died. Um, and then this game, I've picked up one star player point. So all of today, I've gone like from a from a result perspective, like from a team development perspective, this has just gone backwards. But it, like most things, I suppose you get ups and downs, right? Three, four, five. Right. So you're in scoring range. Um, I mean, I can't, I can't get there, but you are in scoring range. Um, arguably, the right thing to do here. Might be actually to leave a shot on the ball. Weirdly, right? And the reason for leaving the shot on the ball is because then. Um, he'll take that rather than going and battering the Chaos Warrior. Because um, if I don't, I don't, it's 6-0, I don't care. Right? It doesn't make any difference to me 6-0, 5-0. So, or we try and shove through here. So I'm going to try and shove this first. Ah! <sighs> Never mind. Oh. 
I was disappointed with Elliot yesterday, he got frustrated with his level made up dwarf team. Oh, he's a good, Elliot's a good guy. I know he's, he doesn't come here, and uh, I get that, but he is a nice chap. Is it possible to arrange some coaching, Andy? I'm free to coach you after 2100. <laughs> yeah, I've not. I've, I've, I think I've done one like one season of dwarves. They're, they're um, they are anti-fun. Is Shamba actually here, by the way? Oh, he's in zonks. Oh, right, okay. You see? The one thing I don't... I don't I'm going to try and look, go back to not having popped out chat. I don't like it. I, I just don't like the... I don't like the chat being tiny here, but I, also, I don't like it. I can't... I lose load. I need to do like a dock thing. But dwarves make blood bowl unfun. Yeah, dwarves are a bit unfun. Hello, ham. Yeah, if dwarves just were not in Blood Bowl, I think the whole of the game would be better. Like they don't, they just don't need to be in Blood Bowl at all. They don't serve any purpose. They're like wasps, right? They're not good for you. They're not very nice. No one likes them. And if they just weren't a thing, everyone would be far happier. Wasps have a purpose to keep flies under control. <laughs> well, I would argue they need to try harder. Um, is there anything I can do here? Like, is there any form of chain pushing non nonsense? So that's no good. I can't push here. <laughs> Were dwarves toxic in WFB? I don't, I don't know. Never, never, never played it in that. Not, never played it in that format. It's, yeah, like, I, 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 I sort of talk about this every week because someone goes, why are dwarves not too bad? And then um, I tell them. Um, so dwarves have three. I'll, I'll, I'll do the short version. Don't worry, chat. We'll do the short version today. Dwarves are broken for three reasons. Um, the game can be divided into three blo blocks, starting skills, cost, and skill access. Um, a dwarf starting roster has absolutely everything you could possibly need. Three rerolls. Um, and an apothecary for a thousand TV. That's incredibly well costed. Um, in fact, it's far too well costed, to be honest. Um, second is skill access, um, which is they've got strength skills, um, and that's one of the two strongest skill trees. So they've got not only incredibly costed players, stupidly good at skill access. And then three, starting skills. They come with thick skill, they're armor nine, and they've got block and tackle across almost everybody. Um, which means that other teams that thrive on dodge and don't have any block really struggle. So, for that reason, they're silly. 
And when you throw all three of those things into the mix, it becomes, oh, they're, they're really just unfun. There you go. There's the short version. <laughs> Joe Kenobi misses Andy's deep voice. I can't help you there, unfortunately. Uh, BB and Sester side, uh, Chorfs as well. Yeah, the, the Chorfs are pretty bad. Chorfs, chorfs are just as bad. Uh, they're slightly less obnoxious at the very beginning, uh, but they become even worse. Zunk Raid! How you doing, Zunk? How is the mountain blading? Um, you've tuned into something you've probably not seen for a very long time. Um, it's, uh, it's a 5 6 nil Andy loss. A 6 nil Andy loss. Um, oh, blimey. Oh, dear. Um, at least Rabutia got the MVP. Um, so, I mean, oh, we actually did only get one star player point on anyone helpful. Wow. <laughs> wow. Okay, right, Shamba. Level up for you, please. Uh, that's a mighty blow for you, Shamba. Help you try and catch up a little bit. Uh, and then Rubitio. Oh dear. I wonder what I'm going to give Rubitio. I think I'm going to give him Mighty Blow as well. There we go. Just to add a little bit of punch to this team. Because um, we are sadly lacking punch. Um, I think that's the case. So that was game number uh, 13. I hope you've enjoyed it. Thank you very much. Leave a like, subscribe and tell me why. Uh, that was the highest loss you've ever watched on YouTube.